Hi there, all lovely people. I hope you're doing good. Yesterday, I mean, in the previous video, I have uh, done one sum on written down value method. Pretty easy sum. This sum, again, is easy because accounts is easy with me. So let us do one sum, which is question number 17 from DK Goel. Here's the sum. Please have a look. Raja Textiles Company, which closes its books on 31st March, purchased a machine on 1st of April. So, the same year, April to March. Even if it is not said in the sum, we assume here and is 31st March these days. And the next transaction is happening on 1st of October 2017, which is not in this year. So, many of the children get confused with the dates. Dates are confused, you know, is Sal 16, 17, 17, 18. As it okay, we have to proceed, right? So, April to March, April to March. Just keep that in mind. Practice with practice, it will all be set in your mind. On 1st October, it's purchasing additional machine. And the part of the machine which was purchased on this 1st January, 1st or April 16, costing 7,000 was sold for 3,600 on 30th September. Okay. 19, that is. Hmm. So, prepare machinery account for 4 years. The depreciation is provided at the rate of 10% per annum, diminishing balance method. Okay, reducing balance method we just did in the last video. Uh, it is there for your reference in the description box if you haven't seen, just in case. So here we are making the machinery account. Uh, we will write the first date when we are purchasing it to cash. We can write to bank also. We are purchasing machine worth 50,000. Okay. And in this year, there is no other transaction. So we straight away depreciate the machine on 31, 3, 17, see, April 16, hai to March 17, mein finish ho hai. so by depreciation, it's just one asset and it has been used for the full year, rate of depreciation is 10%, 5,000, very easy, by balance, carry down, 45,000, right, please do close this, do not Forget to total it up and close the account. Alright? So look, Pera year ka banya. Earned machine, depreciation at 10% per annum on the cost and the written down value. So bring down the written down value to balance brought down. This is, we can name this as machine 1 because we have four more machines coming on our way. This is 1417 itself, 3rd March and April. Just the next day, right? So 17. 45,000 is the written down value. This is the written down value when it is paid depreciation charge over. Please do keep that in mind. Then 11017, the same year. April 17 hai to 11017 will be here. 11017, we are purchasing machine 2 for 30,000. So here we have two machines now. I don't think there is any other transaction here. So 17, 18. 18 March code will simply pass the entry for depreciation. Alright. So we do by depreciation. Now we have two machines, M1 and M2. M1 it will be straight away. Return down value kya hai starting with 45,000. Uska 10%. Because that is being used for the full year. 4500. And this one, this is the second machine. But we are not using for the full year. We have started it for using it from 1st of October. October, November, December, Jan, five months, six months. Hai. Six months, ka kitna hoga? this is for six months. 3,000, 10% of the full year came. So, 1,500 will be for the part of the year. So, 6,000 will be the total depreciation for this year. Now, when we bring down the balance and carry down the balances, I, I told you in the last class also, I prefer keeping them separate. Nothing wrong in merging it. Wrong nahi hoga, marks nahi kare. But this is for our own, you know, uh, uh, convenience and easy calculation. 45,000 ka asset tha, 4,500 gone. Written down value, 40,400. 30,000 asset, 1,500 depreciated. 28,500. Okay? So this is 969. That's the written down value of the asset. This is 75,000. This is 75,000. Year 2, 
that bring down the balances. Two, balance brought down, and one and n two, respectively, total sixty nine thousand. One four eighteen. Okay, so this done. Now what is happening in this year? Let us see. One four eighteen two thirty one three nineteen. All good, sir. Nothing because the next sale is in the fourth year. As it is being sold on thirtieth September two thousand nineteen, which will not be in this year. So this year again we just have a depreciation by depreciation. On both assets, M one and M two. And then we will have by balance carried down M one and M two. You can pause the video and you can try calculating it on your own and then check the answer. I'm waiting. Okay, it's done. Written down value method. Always, whenever you charge depreciation, ask yourselves a few questions. What's the method? कितने साल के कितना महीने के लिए यूज किया फुल या पार्ट ऑफ द ईयर रेट ऑफ एप्रिसिएशन क्या है सो ऑल दीज आंसर्स एंड देन यू डू इट रिटर्न डाउन वैल्यू मैटर देन दीज आर द ओपनिंग बैलेंसेस स्ट्रेट अवे उनका 10 10 परसेंट हो जाएगा टोटल ऑफ कॉस्ट विल बी 6900 10 परसेंट ऑफ दिस दिस विल बी 4050 एंड दिस विल बी 2850 ऑल राइट ऑल वी नाउ नीड टू नो एक्स फाइंड आउट द क्लोजिंग बैलेंसेस Carry forward balance. Plus the five hundred minus four zero five zero is thirty six four fifty, and twenty eight five hundred minus this twenty five six fifty. Okay, these are the written down values of the uh, two machines. All right, and the total is.
Okay? This part just has to be very clear. M1 pura written down value of that. I am not saying the whole thing. How much? What part of it am I saying? I can find out by comparing the cost. The cost is given to me. 10,000 cost. 10,000 is how much? It's the total M1. 50,000 is the total M1. One fifth of it. Yeah, the unitary methods is how much? No. If it's straight away do one fifth of this. This is the written down value at the beginning of the year. You will depreciate it for six months. Let's depreciate it for six months. Depreciation till 30th September, six months. So that comes to 10% of uh, this, 729, but for six months, divide by two. It's coming to 364.5.5, round it was 365. That's the depreciation I will be charging on this asset. So I will get the return down value on the date of say mm, my zero six nine two five this is written down value on 30th September that is the date of say okay my objective now Mujhe ye Kyu? because I need to find a profit or loss on sale then I will compare how much did I sell it for I think 3600 Subtract that 3600. My loss is coming to 3325. I hope the working is clear. 7290 is the opening. Beginning of the year written down. Right? I have used it for another six months. I depreciated for another six months. 365. At the rate of 10%, written down value method here for six months. So 365 I subtract, so I get the written down value on the date of sale. This only I can compare with what I have sold it for. 3600, so I'm definitely making a loss. I'm making a loss of 3325. Done. All I need to now is to put it in the account. So sale entry will be on 30th September. September is 3919, the same year. Bye. Cash. Oh, first thing, sorry. By depreciation, because we are depreciating the asset. <coughs> 365. Okay. First thing, right? Whatever you depreciate. Then, what you have received. 3600. And your profit here loss. Profit on is either. Loss on is either. So, loss is 33 to 25. Loss on sale of asset. Your sale entry complete all on 30th September. Is it clear? Now, what are we left with? There are no more purchases here in this year. That's why you say it. So now what do we do? We are left with four fifth of the you know the machine. Right? That we need to depreciate because that we have used for the full year. That we are not selling. Four fifth of M1. And this M2 also for the full year. So what I do is now I will calculate depreciation for the remaining asset. Okay, depreciation for remaining asset for 1920, the year 1920. M1 four fifth is left of 36 four fifty. Okay, 36 four fifty ka four by five. 29 160 hai written down value of the remaining asset. Is pura 10% depreciation over? So depreciation will be 2916. Okay. So I'm writing here on 31320 by depreciation on M1. That is the remaining part. 2916. Alright. 2916 is the depreciation and M2 is 10%. 256. Fine. So I hope you appreciate again that it's like this, just a cake walk. So total depreciation is 2916 plus 2565. 5481. Then balance carried down by balance carried down. This is the fourth year, last year. So 
I am putting all the balance together because I don't need anything after this. So it's 62, 100 minus 265 minus 3600 minus 3325 and 54812 4 9 3 29 49, 329 right correct right. so this is what is left so the same entry I hope it's clear calculation you must show properly and that's what we do in putting down value. That is it. So I hope things are clear, children. Practice more sounds. If you have any queries, you can feel free to ask me in the comment box. I'm there for you. And if you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for your notifications. Please do share a word with your friends about this channel. It's Kalidara Vidinata Kams is easy. And take care and do not forget to hit the like button. Thank you. Bye-bye.